Hey, it's Matthew from MatthewRidgey.com, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install Magic Lantern for the first time on your T2i. The first thing you're going to need to make sure is your, that your Canon, your Canon T2i is on firmware 1.0.9. To do this, you're going to take your camera over to M mode, then you're going to hit M uh, menu, then you're going to go over to the third wrench, that's the second if you go all the way to the right the second over and then you're going to see magic land I mean you're going to see firmware 1.0.9 the SD card that's in my camera already has magic lantern so it's going to say that you don't want this right now if you don't have magic lantern if it says like 1.0.8 you need to update click on link 1 in the description and go it'll take you to the Canon website where you can download Next thing you're going to need to do is head over to link number two in the description and download the latest Magic Lantern build, which is January eighth. I mean, um, July eighth. Sorry, and uh, download that to your desktop so it's pretty easy to find. Okay, step one: recharge your battery to 100% to make sh sure that you're going to be able to do this the right way and not have the battery die. Remove any accessories from your camera, flash battery grip things like that leave your can leave your lens on that kind of thing just those things do a low level format how you do a low level format is you head back over to the camera and uh the first wrench it'll see format you're going to hit um your select key it'll ask you format card all data will be lost and um, you want to hit the garbage can button, you want to do a low level, you hit OK. I'm not going to do that right now. And uh, so do your low level format. Now we're going to take that file that we unzipped to our desktop and we're going to open that up. We're going to copy the magic lantern.fir and put that over to our SD card. In the and now we're going to paste that in. Okay. Now we're going to head back over, or you're going to take that card out of your camera and put it, I mean, take it out of your computer and put it into your camera. Now, when you turn on your camera, you're going to go over to the third wrench over. Firmware version 1.0.9. If it has the ML, you already have Magic Lantern, you don't need to be doing this. But I'm just going to be showing you. You hit OK, do an update. Yes, I mean, okay, it'll ask, guide you through the steps, and then there'll be a little screen that says, Magic Lantern's been installed after 12 seconds, on, take out the battery, and you'll see the drive light right by the garbage can button. Once that light turns off, after a couple seconds, turn off your camera and take out your battery. And this is going to be the only change for, um, that will be doing to your camera, but which you can um, take out. Look at my other videos, and I'll be having one coming up in a couple days. Um, step number two, making the SD card bootable. Download the EOS card link number three for PC, or if you're on a Mac, download um, link number four. And um, so we're going to do that next. And, <clears throat> excuse me. So we're going to open the EOS card up. And you're gonna hit run. You may need to be in a distribute, uh, um, administrator mode. And you're gonna click on these first two ones. Then you're gonna hit Magic Lantern, and it'll say loaded. And then you're gonna hit save. Once it says write accessible, then you know what's on there. And if that doesn't work, click on link number seven for cards that are over four gigabytes. That for some reason the software isn't working. Step number three is we're gonna copy everything from our download that we downloaded all of this and you're just going to right click it copy it now we're going to go over to our SD card and we're going to hit paste so now you're going to take your SD card out of your computer and place it in your camera and you're going to hit your garbage can button that's to access the magic lantern if you did everything right you'll be seeing this menu Link number five in the description is a PayPal link to help Magic Lantern get better. And also link number six is a user guide to help you figure out what everything Magic Lantern does. This has been Matthew from MatthewRitchie.com. Thanks for watching.